With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. So we are given with a question which says there are two point charges plus Q4 plus 4Q at a distance L apart. A third charge Q1 is so placed that the entire system is in equilibrium. We need to find the location, magnitude and sign of the third charge. Alright, so let's try to visualize the given situation over here. So we can say we have two charges which are separated by a distance of L and we have to take into consideration charge Q1 so that the system is in equilibrium. So let's suppose we are considering charge Q1 to be at a distance x from the charge Q and if it is so, so we can say it will be at a distance of L minus x from charge 4Q. Alright, so one thing we have to remember over here is uh, whenever there are two uh, charges of like nature and we have been asked such questions, so we will take the, uh, the charge in between the these two charge and if they are of uh, opposite nature, so this charge will be placed somewhere not in between but alongside. Alright, so th this uh, small tricks we have to uh, remember. So from here we can say uh, now we have to calculate the nature of charge Q1 and its magnitude as well and the distance. So from here we can see for the system to be in equilibrium let's try to analyze this Q1 charge over here. So we will say let's suppose the charge is Q1 and it will be acting acted upon by the two force due to Q and 4Q. So due to Q the force will be in the uh, rightward direction so we can write it as F. Q that is force due to Q and uh, due to 4Q it will be towards left so we can write force due to charge 4Q alright so from here we can say for system to be in equilibrium these two forces has to be equal and opposite in nature therefore we can write four, force due to 4FQ 4Q and force due to Q has to be equal and opposite in nature. So we can say uh, if we equate the magnitude of it since we can see the directions are opposite so we will equate the magnitude so by Coulomb's law we can write this can be written as due to 4q the force can be written as k q1 q2 so here uh, one charge is q1 and another is 4q divided by distance between the two is l minus of x as we can see from the figure l minus x is the whole square and that is equals to k q1 q due to another charge that is q1 q and the distance is x square so from here we can clearly see k q1 q k q1 q will cancel from both sides so we are left with x square uh, and that is equals to 4 x square and that is equals to l minus x the whole square if we take the root so we will get uh, 2x and that is equals to l minus of x Therefore, from here we can say 3x will be equals to L. Therefore, the value of x we are getting will be L by 3. So, we can clearly see the charge will be uh, Q1 will be at a distance L by 3 from small q. So, we can say Q1 is to be placed at a distance L by 3 from Q. So, this option is correct. Also, if this is so, so from here we can see it will be 2L by 3. So, this option will also be the correct option. So now we have to calculate the magnitude and sign of the charge. So we can uh, see the system is in equilibrium. So the net force on every charge will be uh, zero. All right. So we can say uh, now let's suppose we are taking net for net force on charge 4Q to be as a zero. F net on 4Q to be as a zero. Therefore, we can say. Uh, for this to happen so we can write the force will be due to force will be due to q and force will be due to q1 all right and that has to be equals to zero so we can say over here force due to q will be k q into 4 q divided by l square and that can be done as minus of k q1 4q divided by l minus x the whole square because as we can see uh, this is the force due to 
charge q1 therefore from here we can say uh, k q and 4 k q and 4 can be cancelled out so we are left with one uh, here it can be written as q by l square and that is equals to q1 divided by l minus x that is uh, the value of x is l by 3 so it will become 2l by 3 and squaring it will get a 4 by 9 l square so from l square l square both sides will get cancelled out therefore from here we can say the value of q1 will be nothing but it can be written as a 4q by 9 so this is what the value of charge we are getting its magnitude is 4q by 9 and its nature is negative so we can say if compared with the option so we can say option b is also the correct option so i hope you have understood the concept and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today